Good Lord Jesus, beam me up. Okay, Scotty, let's go. <laughs> Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day today. And I really love that when I just started this video, I was like, oh, hello there. Like, like you're shocked to be here. You clicked on me. Hello. Um, let's go ahead and discuss today. So today we're going to be diving in to my February favorites, as you saw in the title. And I really don't have a ton. I feel like I tested a lot of stuff during February that I'm still like working on and, and trying to decide like where, you know, do I love it? Do I not? And anytime that I'm on the fence about something, obviously I don't include it as a favorite because I'm not overwhelmingly in love with it. Let's go ahead and actually, before I get into that, let's talk real quickly what is happening what is happening here? Um, this is actually a video that you will have just watched on, I think maybe Monday. It's What's New at Elf, which I will link up here. It has their hydrating camo concealer, the um, eight little eyeshadow palettes, which you can see right there. Just a couple other little things from Elf that I wanted to throw in a video. So if you're curious, that is where this came from. You can go ahead and check that video out. I will have it linked for you. Um, and now on to today's video. This is something I tested out. I want to say it was probably three or four weeks ago in a video, and it was new at the drugstore. Store, which I'll link up here and I believe there might be one or two other things in this video from that video but this is the essence the blush and it's in the shade 10 befitting and I have been wearing this I'm wearing it right now as well I've been wearing this constantly this is one of the most beautiful blushes the tone the texture the way it has like a beautiful like little lilt on the skin it has such a nice satin finish and I know on my channel I talk about blushes constantly oh I love this one and there's, I feel like there's always at least one blush in my favorites videos, but this is one of those blushes that if you are like, oh, I want something that's a little bit different. I clearly like something on the more neutral side. Um, I think there might be a couple other shades of this, but obviously this one's a little bit more neutral. Um, but if you're looking for something that has like a beautiful light amount of radiance, it has a light amount of something going on. It's not totally matte. It's not super shimmery. It fits perfectly in that middle lane to just give you like a beautiful flushed cheek. This is that blush for me. I wear it on a day-to-day -day basis, whether I'm wearing lighter makeup or more intense makeup. It layers beautifully with other products, you know, foundations and foundation powders. Or if I even want to do a cream blush underneath and then top it with this, it looks really nice with that because it has, again, that light radiance factor to it. This is just one of those products for me that I'm just like... I absolutely love it and I plan on seeing if they have other colors because I'm I'm addicted. The next item that I have is also from Essence and that is these little lip liners right here. I have them in the shades one, two, and four and these lip liners are absolutely fantastic. These are the Essence Stay 8-Hour Lip Liner. It says that they are waterproof and they come with the little um, sharpener on the end here. I think they're a couple dollars. So for me, the reason these are working out so well and the reason that I like have been using them time and time and time again is because I feel like it's kind of a one-two punch. Like the liner lasts really nicely and it gives you really beautiful pigmentation, but even as it wears off, the color it leaves behind is still really pretty. Let's say, for example, I'm not wearing one right now, but if I was, I would end up going, you know, to work or whatever, and my lips would look really nice. They'd be ready to go. And as I would, you know, drink my coffee or what have you, the lipstick wears off. But as it leaves this color behind, I would be able to then go in and put like a lip balm or my, my uh, Laneige lip sleeping mask or something over top of it that really makes my lips still look nice and have a nice flush of color. And it just wears so incredibly comfortable throughout the day. They do have their faults, sure. You know, they because they're a more dry down type consistency, they can be a little bit brittle when you're applying them so you have to be a little careful or some of the colors when you mix them with the gloss they do feather a little bit more than I would like but overall for the price I keep reaching for them and that should say something because I got a hell of a lot of lip liners and I have been reaching for these a ton. I smell fantastic right now and that leads me into my next product my Clinique Happy. I love this stuff so much. I feel like I go through probably a bottle of this a year um, because I just I, I freaking absolutely love and adore the smell and this is one of those fragrances for me that is always my it's going into spring is it spring is it gonna be spring is it almost spring is winter over what is happening like I'm about to see the sun and I am so freaking happy that is this fragrance because it just takes me back to like warmth and I don't even know why because it's not like an overly beachy kind of fragrance but it's so Oh my, it's, it truly is happy. The name does not lie. Um, I highly encourage, I just wanted to throw this out there. If you are ever at Ulta and you want to give it a little sniff, I definitely recommend it because it smells so good. I'm wearing it right now because I just sprayed myself one more time. I've already sprayed myself twice today, but we're not going to talk about it because I'm sweating. So it's just kind of naturally wafting off my body. But guys, this smells 
so good. Highly recommend. Now, really quickly, I have two highlights that I do want to talk about. This is one of them. I know I've talked about it. I know it's Jaclyn Hill. So like, God forbid, overt your eyes and ears. But uh, this is her flash highlighting. It's called The Flash Highlighting Palette. And I love this. I did just talk about it in an update video, which I'll link up there. So like I said, not going to spend a ton of time on it, but I have been wearing this so much lately. And I think if I had to summarize like what I love about it, for me, it's the reachability factor of this palette because the shades themselves, the, like the actual, um, the actual highlights are so nice and finely milled and they're very workable. You can build them up, you can shear them down. It can be something you wear on a less makeup day, on a more makeup day. Um, the two deeper shades right here, I've been putting all over my eyelid just for like a little something on a less makeup day. And I just feel like this palette in general, it's so easy for me to reach for and I feel like it's such a nice like quality product that everything that went into it from the packaging the color story just the overall feel quality of the products it's so nice that brings me into my next one which I've also been loving completely out of left field but this is the pixie glossy glossomer duo and I feel like so many people have talked about this on the internet already but I love this I actually topped off today's highlight with a little bit of this shade it is so beautiful, so reflective. And here it is swatched, just so you can see what I'm talking about. Obviously both shades don't work for my like face, you know, my normal face highlight. I do use the lighter shade for that. And then this other shade, just similar with the Jaclyn Hill, I like to take it, I put it all over my eyes, I do something light with it. It's fun, it's just a little, you know, a little flavor, I can zhuzh it up a little bit. But overall, as far as the duo goes, and knowing that it's, you know, pixie, so it is more affordable, this is a fantastic option if you're looking for that like really nice over the top just bam kind of highlight because y'all you gotta play around with this come on like good lord jesus beam me up okay scotty let's go <laughs> like this it's beautiful it is a beautiful beautiful duo so i just wanted to show it some love in today's video because i've been wearing it and i'm wearing it now and i think it's real pretty i think it's real nice and real pretty and i'm here for it Yes. All right, so next up, we're talking about something that I can't quite, I can't seem to find everything. I have one piece of the overall puzzle, if you will, and that is the collection of Fenty Gloss Bombs that I bought. This was the, I wanna say it was like the Christmas tin, or it came out right around Christmas time, and I bought it back November, December, and it had like four or five different Fenty Glosses in it. It was like 40-ish dollars, and this color was in there. This is Cheeky, which is one of my favorites. I'm wearing it right now. I think in that tin, it had the brown one, which was Choco Lit or something like that. Um, but it had that this one which is cheeky it had the original fussy it had a white one um, and then it, there might have even been one more I can't remember but I just wanted to throw it out there if it's still available I think it is I will link it down below for you so you guys can check it out I think it is such a fantastic way to not only check out Fenty glosses which are one of my favorite glosses um, the only thing that edges these out would be the Lunar Beauty gloss from Manny I Die Hard, love his gloss as well. Um, but aside from that, these are just like my ride or die. I love Fenty glosses. They have such a beautiful look, wetness, the stay on the lips. Everything about this formula is fantastic. And the fact that we're starting to see it in other colors, I think is even better. And what's even better than that is when you can get all the colors in one place. They're minis, so they're not wasteful. And I just, I love it. So definitely check it out again. If it's available, I will link it down below. I definitely hope it's available now that I just hyped the shit out of it. But I love it. I have to shout it out, which is so funny, can I just say, because I bought these two or three months ago and it just now dawned on me, like, Paige, you've worn these constantly. You really should talk about them. Like, they're so good. I just, oh, guys, I love these so much. So huge shout out. Love them, love them, love them. All right, guys, so next up, this is a product that was sent to me, um, but I have been diehard obsessed with it lately and I don't know... I don't know when this happened to me, but y'all, this benefit precisely my brow. This is in the shade four, and I, I, oh, <laughs> it kind of gets me because I'm not the type of person, and you guys know it if you have been here for any length of time, you know that I'm not someone that'll just be like, oh wow, this is such a great product because it was sent to me. That's not who I am. That's not how I roll. Um, if you send it to me, awesome, but like you're not gonna be spared the wrath of my opinion because my opinion is what it is and I think that's what makes brands good, you know? It, you can't just give a brand great feedback constantly and expect them to ever grow, change, and evolve. That's not how this works. So for me, um, I just want you know, to know if you are newer here, you're not familiar with me, whatever, I'm not the type of person that gives a positive review because something was sent to me. So that being said, I don't know, like for so long I sat there and I was like, like, look, the ColourPop brow pencil, it's like $5. It's amazing. The L'Oreal uh, Precisely brow pencil or whatever, that one's amazing. I have both of those currently. I've used them. They are so good. I don't discredit them. They are half the price of this. 
still think they're great brow products. It wasn't until I was able to use one of these pencils consistently and figure out what it is about this that I'm liking. And I think what it is is that benefit, these benefit pencils, they're like where the trifecta kind of come together and you get the best of all worlds. It has beautiful pigmentation. They have a ton of colors in it, so the shades are really nice. The payoff on the pencil itself is perfect. It's not too rich. It's not dull. You don't have to push super hard. Like, it's a really good balance. And the emolliency and, like, creaminess of the product is really, really nice. So when you're feathering it through, it's not so weak that it, you know, just busts off and you're flaking product everywhere, but it's not so stiff that you're jamming it into your eye eyebrow hoping that you don't draw blood um because you know we've all been there with like those cheap pencils where you're like oh I'm gonna get something and you're like yeah I know what I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a scar <laughs> in my eyebrow um so and it's I, I think that for me that's where I'm really enjoying this is because all of those three things for me kind of have come together and they're just working for me now while we're on the topic of brows let's go ahead and discuss one of my new favorite brow gels and this is from Maybelline this is their brow fast sculpt mascara gel I have it in the shade two 60 deep brown. Guys, this brow gel is so good. Oh my gosh. I have used this like day after day after day. The color is beautiful. The texture is fantastic. The wand itself isn't bad. You do have to get used to it because it's not like as tiny as, you know, like the Benefit one. The Benefit little brow brush is super duper teeny. Um, so it's not that big, but it's also not as big as the ABH um, dip brow gel. Like it's right in between there. Memory serves right. I think I actually used this in that, <laughs> in that drugstore video, which again is linked. So you can go ahead, check that out for like application and color and whatnot. But I wanted to give you an update and let you know I love this. So if you're looking for a brow gel, really beautiful, like fine consistency. It doesn't go in and like clump your brow hairs together, which I personally really love. Cause like I've said, I have like, I don't know, um, seven brow hairs. And if they all clump together, I look like I got one big old massive unibrow and that's just no good for nobody. So, um, I love that this doesn't do that. It gives them like a nice fullness. It really individualizes your brows. It holds them nicely. It's not like a super rigid hold. It's more of like kind of like flexi hold hairspray, if you will. Like it's there, but it's not too much. It's like right in the middle. And um, I just, I, I really love it. So let's go ahead and discuss my last couple of products here. They kind of go together and I'm really shocked that it wasn't mentioned in my January favorites because y'all, I've been loving this for a minute and that would be my YSL All Hours Concealer. I have it in the shade 0.5. You've definitely heard me talk about it in the last month because this has become my number one spot concealer concealer spot concealing concealer <laughs> okay that's a little redundant but we're working on the title it's a work in progress um but this is such a fantastic spot concealer for me this actually goes along with my other favorite which is my favorite way to apply it which is my real technique little fluffy adjustable brush and this is not the one that i was looking for i can't find it this is the 424 brush it works just fine they do about the same thing but i believe it's the 221 brush is the one that i normally use with this concealer um, um, so I'll have them both linked down below. You can kind of take a look for yourself. But for me, I don't even think the magic is in the profile. Cause like I said, I've used this one just as well as the smaller one and it's been just fine. But I think there's something that works so nicely about this concealer. The coverage that it has is a really nice seamless skin-like coverage. And finding something like that, that'll work over top of blemishes and like raised textured type skin areas is really difficult. And for me, it's just been the perfect little, like I'm not gonna call it full full coverage but it does give me a nice medium coverage over those acne areas which then when I go in with whatever foundation I go in with they just pair really nicely so for that I love like the consistency the texture is very light very thin very skin like it's not overly matte not satin it's just a really nice skin like consistency which I love and then when you pair that with a brush like this one which as I mentioned it's an adjustable brush um, again whether it's this one or the normal one that I use um, th because it's a adjustable, you can really decide how much coverage and how much packing you want to do. So if I said, you know what, I want the maximum amount of coverage I can get, I'm going to leave it down here and I'm going to stipple the coverage on, you can really build up that coverage with this concealer and, and keep it really like full and robust. But for me, being able to take this, adjust it all the way out so it's nice and fluffy, I can actually take and like circular motion kind of buff this product in and it really makes it settle into my skin in a way where it's not thin 
thick. It's not caked up. It doesn't build any like outward dimension this way. So there's literally no like thick cakey substance sitting on my skin when I go in with foundation. And I know that's like a lot of really random facts and I'm sorry if it was super boring to some of you, but I wanted to actually dive into like why I think it works so well. That way if you wanna try it out yourself or you know, tr maybe try to find something like it that would work for you, you can. But you guys, those are my final thoughts on that and I think that's everything. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you have anything that you would like to share down in the comments that were your month end favorites? Um, anything that you loved or that didn't work for you, please be sure to leave those down in the comments. And then from there, obviously, if you haven't checked me out, Instagram and on Twitter, those will both be linked in the description box. But if you haven't subscribed, turn on your post notifications, please be sure to do that as well. I do upload three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. So subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. The next item that I have is also, I am sweating. Real quick, let's go ahead and take, there we go again. All right, now next up I some, uh, what?